Okay, it's the 26th of March, 2024. I know B2 has been busy and I've got three Redback Spider XX to retrieve. Just very carefully under the lid, checking under the lid first. That looks clear. Okay, I can see B2 there and I can, oh, crikey, Charlie's. Uh, man, that scared the crap out of me because I'm looking at this down through camera. Just let me uh, put my heart back in my chest. Warning, the warning on this video has been removed. Although it's here to let you know that this video is highly educational. And yet that's no guarantee I won't be smacked down by the systems that are there to protect you and destroy me. Okay, there's actually three egg sacs in there. Uh, obviously, B2 is very, very alert. There's two there near her, and there's actually one, and it's down the bottom underneath the spider lure, if that makes any sense. I'm going to grab the egg sac underneath. I've got to go through a lot of her web here to get to it. I'm hoping she doesn't come down. So she's got three more egg sacs here. She did four before. Uh, that's uh, seven. My maths is very slow when I'm trying to pick up red back spider egg sacs. Okay, I think I've got it. To me, it's unusual she's left an egg sac underneath her home there. Just let me open that up, see what's inside. Well, now I know why it was down the bottom. Open this up, guess what? No spiderlings. This one's opened up. I've got here too late. Now when I look at this side of the spider lure, can you see what I can see? Red back spiderlings, they're everywhere. They're very, very small. If I tease them with the knife here, you might see them moving. They're all on the web there. Wow, um, that has surprised me because I know, well, one of the XX was basically four weeks old and it's definitely opened up. Before we get into the next phase, unfortunately, we have to be educational. The infamous red back spider control chart. And this time of year, we're down at the very end of March. So today is the 26th of March. I know that egg sac got laid up on the 26th of February. It falls into that four week thing, doesn't it? Man. I know yesterday the egg sac was up there with the other two because I look at the spider lure every day. Curiously, we just got past the equinox and if I'm smart, I'll put a title up of what the equinox date was. In Australia, we're heading into autumn or fall, but for the bulk of the audience, you'll be heading into spring and then summer because the world is not flat. Hang on, bubble has, my God, bubble. Oh my God, bubble, stop it, please. <laughs> She's so naughty. She's got a giant skink here. I've just got to save the skink. Oh, got it. These things, if you don't get them up the right way, give you the really, really nasty nip. She's expert at catching these. She doesn't kill them or eat them. She just likes to take them inside to us for fancy gifts and thanks for your tail bubble now the bubbles captured this skink you know what they eat red back spiders mm. good girl bubble good girl yes i wonder if that skink would love to have a red back for lunch i'm pretty sure that's what they eat i've seen the skinks clean up the red backs before Maybe I've got something else ready for B2, hey? I'll let Skink Rooney go on the leaf litter here and it will scurry. Hopefully without bubble around. Oh, hang on a second. Gosh, she's naughty. She's just following me. I'm going to have to do a more radical deployment. And doing like this gives the Skink the best chance. Come on, Skink Rooney. Scurry. Good boy or girl. I'm back with B2. And she's making some funny moves because she's trying to protect the egg sacs and I'm trying to get them and I'm thinking maybe I've got to do something radically different although it's not that radical in the way that I work I've got tweezies down there I'm just trying to see where I am in relation to things it's always hard when you're looking down through camera and I think she's just getting into cranky girl mode Yeah, 
I don't think I've got much luck here. Uh, just trying to get away from the egg sacs. I maybe want to try and get one out. Sometimes far easier said than done. God, I'm having a lot of trouble just getting out of the web in a sense. Uh, now nah, I'm giving up. I'm going to uh, the next phase. It's a phase I'm very familiar with. Considering we have an uncontained situation here, it's time to haul out the big guns. Unfortunately, B2, good night, little sister. Dusted. Oh, what a shame. I can't see any red back spidlings there as well. They must be dusted. I can see B2 in the ash pile here. I've already grabbed the egg sacs. Okay, I've got her. And there she is there. It looks like she was about to lay up another egg sac and uh, well, the ants nearby here are gonna have a lovely feast. Right nearby the spider lure here, that was B2's home, as in past tense, is a blank ant nest. And if I get the tweezers in there, maybe you can start to see it. Guess what they're going to eat for dinner? I'm going to put B2 right next to the ant nest here and you get a great sense of scale, of the scale of one thing versus another. And I bet you the ants get very excited when they see who's for dinner. And I grab those cooked up redback spider egg sacs as well, because I'm sure they're gonna have a hoedown on what's going on in there. I just hope they like their spiders done, medium rare. Ants are a very fickle thing. Sometimes they go crazy for food and other times they just take time to work out what's going on. And I might have to come back here a little bit later on to see if the ants have picked up on the best meal in town. Well, after that fire storm, guess what? The spider lure is nice and clean. Fire is an amazing cleanser. There's nothing at all alive down there now. And maybe it's just perfectly set up for when the next alive thing decides to make this its home. I don't have to be careful with the lid anymore because well, there's nothing at all alive in there. Well, I can see the ants, they are grabbing spiderlings. Remember there's a whole bunch of spiderlings over in the ashes there as well. And what I might do is set up a time-lapse camera here because we might see something spectacular. Well, no, in my luck, it might be totally boring but I know something will happen with that grand meal, which is right next to the ant nest. They can't resist. Okay, I've got the time-lapse camera set up. It may be a good thing. It might be a total waste of time. Biggest challenge will be keeping Mrs. Inquisitive out of a bubble. I don't want you around here. I better take you in. I don't want you playing with the cameras. Come with me. It took three days for things to be gobbled up. That is the things that I put next to the ant nest. And of course, that was the red back spider XX and of course, B2. Ants, in my mind, are very complicated. Uh, they seem to act in very mysterious ways. We all know the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. The ants do take a lot of interest in B2 and the egg sacs. But what caught me by surprise was the two critters that finally claimed B2 plus the redback spider egg sacs. I didn't think it was going to end the way it did. In a strange way, I'm glad I had a camera on it because if I said to you this, this and this happened, you probably wouldn't believe me. But what the time lapse captured over the three days, there's lots of things I have got no idea how to explain it. So maybe I put that video up purely as one to look at and then the audience can explain what they see because Ants are freaking mysterious. And I thought nothing happens at night. 
around an ant colony? Well, lots of things happened. And there was also a major rain event that was going on in the same time I had the time lapse there that also changed the dynamic of the way this ant colony was operating. So yeah, if I ever get around to putting up the video of the time lapse of the feast that's next to the ant colony, I will let the experts online explain to me everything that's going on because if I attempt to explain anything that I see here, I'm pretty sure number one, I'm going to be wrong. And number two, if I make out that I'm right, well, I'm lying. Always let the experts tell you how it works.